I could totally understand someone watching this for the first time or this style of shonen for the first time that would be kind of put off by Asta's in your faceness and or obnox obnoxiousness. But growing up with Naruto as being my primary anime, hearing young ass Naruto scream and say, believe it every goddamn two seconds, I'm completely okay. I don't foresee me having any issues getting through these first 20 episodes. I think this is going to be fantastic. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with episode three of Demon Slayer. Let me set my phone over here so we got no distractions. It's on Do Not Disturb. Last episode, we had um the finish of the fight between Revchi and Asta, and then we had the flashback to how you know gained inspiration from Asta to become the Wizard King. How they pretty much inspired each other to be the Wizard King and to to surpass one another to only get better and help protect one another that's a good inspiration and that's a really good rivalry in my opinion and that whole promise they made like you know we're not gonna stop until one of us becomes wizard king i think a super sick especially with the fact that it's not it's not how it was before where one of them was insanely gifted with you know one of them's not with asta it still kind of is like that but asta has some sort of weird demon magic power that's i know is gonna be amazing and i know it's gonna be crazy if i had to relate it to anything i would say it's kind of like attack on titan whereas like people are gonna be wary some and not so trustworthy of this power but through determination and proving himself over and over and over again asa is gonna show to everyone what kind of person he is and i know you know already knows that sister lily already knows that nash i don't know the other orphan's name but i'm just super excited because i know we're about to get into the shit and remember guys if you guys want full length and early access to this shows all the other shows i want and also to support me consider checking out that patreon down below the patreon's not really your thing and you guys still want to support just leave a like and a nice comment down below it means more than you guys actually know and then follow me on twitch and on twitter for the updates and the live streams i have some birds con out my window right now you guys can't hear them but it's so annoying I'm about to close my window i will catch you guys in this episode black clover episode three Oh my god. For a demon, that thing is pretty intimidating. Yeah, okay. This is like some One Punch Man level type threat. No cap. Look at this. This is literally... Is this the story of the first Wizard King? This is the mage who, with a four-leaf clover book, yep, went to stop the demon. Talking about eternal darkness, head ass. What is this? Oh, some ceiling like holy band. Driving some god form mage, lightning, Kamehameha, divine sword of righteous justiceness, Frieza, Kamehameha, ultra bomb that spirit's gonna blow up. What the hell is this? Oh, see? That, that looks sick as fuck. And that's the skull. Because I remember I said that during the opening. I was like, what the fuck is that skull? And the fact that it's the demon that made the Wizard King possible? Come on. Of nine squads. We have nine squads of Magic Knights. This was in combat. All, okay. Okay, good to know. I love the exposition. I love the details. Give me that lore. I've seen this bird in the opening or around Black Clover so many times. Wonder what his deal is. I could see he does scream literally everything. I wonder what the entrance exam is gonna be. In six months, we got six months of training time. That is a good amount of time. Look at how much magic can help you out in your day to day activities, you know? Like, this is insane. I don't know what kind of perils there are in this world. I don't know if I'm being, if I'm jumping the gun by saying this, but I would love magic like this, you know? So this might just be a presumption, but it seems like we have two total ends of the spectrum here. Complete physicality with Asta and complete wizardry mage powers with, you know, nothing in between. He might be a little annoying, but he's that kind of annoying that you love. You miss him when he's gone. 
Something tells me that's not gonna happen, but... But... <laughs> I like the positive thinking. I mean, positive for them. <laughs> They're really booking on ass to really fail in this shit. <laughs> it couldn't be. Oh, come on. He's just running around with this big ass sword. Gotta have the rivalry, I respect it. I, this reminds me of Naruto and Sasuke. Any mundane task to them was a competition, but that makes you better. You know, eating, running, sleeping longer. I don't fucking know. Go. <laughs> He's one of those mean friends who, who secretly is super, like, really likes you, you know? But he doesn't really mean that. Because he was pissed when those other guys in the first episode were talking shit about Asta. He was pissed. That's his buddy, you know? He's your typical person in a really shit situation. Someone who's been dealt a really shit hand. This is how a typical person would take that in. It would affect them, of course, very heavily. And then you got Asta. He'll be the proof in the pudding. Look at you, okay. There has to be some more to his power range though, because he's super strong, super physical, has a huge sword. But I feel like magic can still shit on him with that, you know? I want to know what... For a poor orphanage church, that is a banging looking dinner. Asking for potatoes. Can you guys have even a shred of faith in him? Come on. Just a shred of faith in Asta. Come on. They're so fucked up. It's hilarious. She was like a holy fist. We have stewed potatoes. Stir fried potatoes, fried potatoes, steamed potatoes, hag haggy boiled potatoes, tato juice, and even tato pudding. Wow. I love potatoes, but I might get tired of them in, in Haig or Hage. That was fun though. If one of you guys in the comments want to actually let me know how to pronounce this village, I'm sure I'll be saying it in the future at some time. Is it Haig or Hage? if and just if and it's a very huge if he, he does believe in him nash is a real one I, I swear you can already see your inspiration is affecting others asta and that's gonna be your driving force can't wait for that wait that's not what he said right i don't think so I super recognize the voice actor for this narration too. A long way from Hagi Village. <laughs> what kind of what kind of outfit do you think that is, Austin? What kind of broom? No, my Lily. <laughs> As they ride off in the sunset. <laughs> That's a good question. That is a good question. That's just not fair. That's just not fair. Wait, it's this far from Hague that we've gone across deserts, rivers, forests. <laughs> My precious Moguro fucking leave juice. Whoa, don't tell me that's the capital. Looks like King's Landing. The way it's all like built up on a rock like that. Looks like Castle Rock. That shit looks cool. After a long and perilous journey, they arrive at the capital of Clover Kingdom. Well, we know what we're about to do next episode. Hell to the yeah. We're at the Hunter exam art, guys. Hell yeah. For the tuning exams. This is exactly like old Naruto used to have. 
What is this? My hero's done this, I swear, a couple of times. This is adorable. They're gonna give us X. They're gonna give us lore and knowledge with these. I love these. All right, give me it. Okay. <laughs> like guys when they do dick comparisons, you know? Not that I've ever done that or anything. No, you know, pause. Hello, but you know, no preview. All right, so that episode was uh, primarily a setup slash getting us ready, slash getting us out of our first environment, transitioning us into a potential new environment. I gotta say, like, Naruto has done this, you know, like, I, I, I apologize prematurely, but throughout Black Clover, I'm gonna be comparing the show to Naruto. I'm sorry. They're so similar in so many ways, and Naruto is one of my favorite animes of all time, solely because I grew up on it, and my bias and nostalgia meters go off the charts when it comes to Naruto. But there's, ever since Naruto, something in me has always been affected when you're powerless and someone else is powerless but you show them that that's not the end of the world or you show them that you're more powerful to get over that powerlessness you know like to overcome that obstacle like he has already done it with you know already changed him to be a better person and to be a much stronger person because of it and he's doing it to nash currently like and he has no power like yeah we just discovered he has some sort of powers whatever whatever but he is powerless yet still touching the hearts of these people and he is like naruto really didn't start touching the hearts of people until he became powerful you know like which i'm not gonna lie they have kind of different stories like whereas asta is just like slightly annoying not you know not exceptional not talented in anything whereas naruto was also not talented but everybody hated him no spoilers if you haven't seen naruto of course but everybody in the entire area hated him so he went from being hated to being loved and to changing hearts, whereas Asta is just being useless to changing hearts. So it's slightly, slightly different, but I definitely, ever since Naruto, I definitely respect that feature in people. When you're able to show other people how you overcome everything, you know, and, and make them better people because of it, you know, you have a truly special power, in my opinion. The power of talk no jutsu. And yeah, I'm not gonna lie, Asta's yelling gets a little overbearing, but, uh, it's definitely com complimented by you know suave cool handsomeness you know whatever asta was saying earlier i'm just excited i know this episode the show is going to be fantastic i know the fights the characters the everything is going to be fantastic i'm just excited that's all i can say and i'm about to hop in this next episode that's how excited i am for this entrance exam hopefully you guys are as well if you did if you enjoyed please leave a like let me know what you thought down below of course i will catch you all in this next episode thank you so much Depper squad peace out